Hi all you wonderful people and welcome to Daily Scuba News. A great step forwards in our fight against plastic has just been taken. So clever people at the University of Edinburgh have managed to turn old plastic bottles into vanilla, or more precisely vanillin. Nobody can deny that the amount of plastic that we're producing at the moment is still just irresponsible. And sure, whilst you can recycle many plastics, um, plastic bottles is currently the second greatest constituent of the plastic era. Uh, but currently, the plastics lose about 95% of their value as a material after their initial use. And that's why we're still producing virgin plastics. Vanillin is used in more ways today than just making ice cream and cupcakes. We also use vanillin to, in the cosmetic industries, pharmaceuticals to sort of make it taste nice and all that kind of stuff, make things smell nice, cleaning products and even in herbicides. And whilst yes, you can get vanillin from vanilla beans, uh, the demand for it back in 2018 exceeded 37,000 tons. So, and that demand has just grown ever since. It's, it's very, very popular. So around 85% of the world's vanillin is actually synthesized from chemicals derived from fossil fuels, not from vanilla beans. And that's where this new method makes things interesting. So instead of using fossil fuels, the researchers managed to upcycle plastic waste, PET, and convert it into its component parts and then convert those component parts into vanillin. Right now, just 14% of the world's plastic bottles are actually recycled, and all they really do with them is just turn them into fibers and turn them into clothings or carpet. By developing an enzyme that chops up the plastic into its component parts, mainly terephthalic acid, uh, TA, and then exposing that TA to a modified E. coli bacteria, don't worry, it's perfectly safe, it's just E. coli, but reprogrammed to do something productive for once, they managed to convert 79% of that TA into vanillin. All they needed to do is to uh, sort of mix it all together in a kind of sludge uh, and then warm it up to 37 degrees Celsius for about a day and kind of stir it around and it's done. That way they can turn something that was considered a low value waste product into a high value resource, vanillin. You can take the plastic that's easily acquired, uh, it's available in most places, and what's best, it could be made into other things other than vanillin. With more research and different bacteria that are programmed to make other things, they could use a similar method to make other things from plastic bottles. Now all we need to do, uh, after we've figured out what to do with these plastic bottles, is to continue to recycle properly. Uh, if you are trying to recycle your plastic bottles, please remember to remove that silly loose plastic label from your bottles. That bit isn't recyclable, just the body of the bottle itself. Uh, try and wash them out properly as well so they're nice and clean. And then after that, uh, we need to find something to do with the loose plastic bags uh, and the rest of the plastic junk that we're still producing. But Hey, at least now we've figured out something to do with plastic bottles. But what do you think? Did you know that 85% of vanillin that we use today is actually made from fossil fuels and not vanilla beans? Uh, does that change your view of vanilla? And would you worry about it being made from plastic bottles? Because it shouldn't. Uh, it's just manipulating the chemical composition and changing it from one chemical to a different chemical. Um, it's not plastic anymore, it's vanillin. It's not like they're grinding up plastic bottles and then just making ice cream out of it. If you like this t-shirt and you want one, then they're available from the Simply Scuba merch store. And uh, here's a discount code so that you can get some money off a new tank sticker, uh, a t-shirt, this is Cave Shark, a uh, hoodie, whatever. We sell all sorts of things. Just check it out after this. There's gonna be a link down underneath this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.